The fountain and the fishermen provide a backdrop for Miss Texas, Luann Coy, and Miss Indiana, Sarah Binkley. Now we greet Anne Marie Henderson. Who... We're halfway there, y'all, with Miss Texas! Let's meet Te Miss Texas. Miss Texas is Luann Coy. She's 22. She lives in Abilene. She attends Texas Tech University. And what do you study? Fashion merchandising. And what do you plan to do? I want to design someday, maybe swimsuits. Now, you are a member of this joggers group yes, here, are I you not? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. We've been jogging every night since we've been here. And it's up and down the halls because you can't go outside. And so we, we have mapped it out that if you jog about 15 laps, that's one mile. So we've been doing that every night, and the security guards have been directing traffic. It's pretty funny. How many of you jog? There's about five of us. If I have dark circles under my eyes, I want you to know that my room is right under this thundering herd. I'm sorry. And uh, they jog religiously. You've also been ballooning since you yes, got to Mississippi. Yes, I have, and that was an experience, let me tell you. Miss Louisiana, Louisiana and I were chosen to go up in this hot air balloon. And we were pretty scared at first, but once we got up there, it was a lot of fun. And the funny part about it is that we landed in someone's backyard, and they were celebrating Mother's Day by having a barbecue. <laughs> so on the way down, we were going, can we have some? We're pretty hungry. <laughs> All right, thank you, Miss Texas. You. You've Miss Texas. weighs 118 pounds and stands 5 feet 8 inches tall. She's 22 years old and has blonde hair and blue eyes. <laughs> Miss Kentucky! <laughs> Miss Texas! It all began months ago when thousands and thousands of young women all over the country entered Miss USA competitions. By the start of tonight's show, that number was down to 51. Then we saw the 51 become 12. And now that number will be reduced to our five finalists. It's time for you at home to match your choices against those of our judges. The judges' composite score for each of the five finalists will be shown on your television screen. Now, may I have the computer readout, please? Thank you, John. Again, good luck to all 12 of you. Here we go with the names of our five finalists, one of whom will be Miss USA. The first name on the list, Miss Texas. <laughs> Miss Texas? Miss Texas, the question is, if you as Miss USA were to tour the United States and were to speak to young people on any subject of your choice, what would you tell them? Um, I think that etiquette is one of the best things that I could teach to a lot of people. Um, people aren't aware of how important it is to have etiquette. And I think that etiquette is one of the best things that we should all get to know all and right. to learn. Thank you, Miss Texas. Miss Kentucky. <laughs>
It's like a rainy night in candlelight. And who the both of you step right down here, please. Now, one of you is about to become Miss USA. The other will be the first runner-up. It's a position that's very important because if for any reason Miss USA cannot fulfill her obligations for the year, the first runner-up becomes Miss USA. It happened just two years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, I will read the first runner-up and then Miss USA. The first runner-up is Miss Texas. Miss Arkansas is Miss USA. are yours, and you are going to represent the United States in the Miss Universe pageant in Lima, Peru on July 26th.